First thing you do in the experiment is measure the mass of the magnesium strip. There's an alternate way to do this that gives you more significant figures that's in the description, but for this particular experiment, we're really not going for intense precision anyways. To hold the magnesium in place, you need to kind of use a piece of copper wire, and you're going to put that through your one-hole rubber stopper so it can kind of move in and out, but it's going to be stuck. And then you're going to put the magnesium in with the copper, but you need it to be held in place because if it gets released during the middle of the experiment, it'll float up to the top and it won't fully react. And so this can be pretty challenging. You have to be careful because you don't want to get a splinter from the magnesium. And that also it can be hard to position the thing correctly where it's actually stuck in there pretty well. Usually if you get some coils, you can kind of press the copper together. Uh, and if you're having trouble like I am right here, one of the things that you can do is you can grab a pair of pliers and use that to really lock the thing into place. Just kind of give that a squeeze and that'll hopefully hold it where it's not going to, as the bubbles go, rise to the top. Now let's go ahead and look at the udiometer. So the udiometer is open on one end and closed on the other. You want to pour your hydrochloric acid in. It's about 10 milliliters, and you want to use somewhere 3 molar to 6 molar hydrochloric. And it's also really important that you add food color to the hydrochloric acid so you can see it as you're doing the reaction. So I added blue food coloring, and the hydrochloric acid turned that into yellow somehow. So this has had a little bit of red added to give us an orangish color. And then you're going to pour just regular tap water in. And you want to pour it in where you pour it very slowly. And so to do that, you need to tip the udiometer. Because what you don't want to do is you don't want the water and the hydrochloric acid to mix very much. You want it to kind of run down the side and form layers. And at the beginning, that's not going to work well. And that's fine. But by the point you get to midway up the udiometer, that's going to change where it's going to fill mostly with water. And you can kind of see the color change as it gets higher and higher up. So it was a little short on water, so now we're going to add just a little bit, and we're going to fill it all the way to the top so it's going to flood over, but it's not the hydrochloric acid at the top because it hasn't had a chance to mix evenly. And so we're just going to let the water flood out of the top, and we're going to seal that with our one-hole stopper with the copper wire and the magnesium sealed inside. We have the hydrochloric acid at the bottom, water at the top with the stopper, and we're now going to flip that upside down and as the hydrochloric acid, you can see that red color kind of moving down towards the magnesium. And what happens is, as that hydrochloric acid slowly mixes, it ends up reaching the point where it gets to the magnesium. And when that happens, you start to see bubbling. And so as those bubbles go to the top, it pushes the hydrochloric acid mixture even further down, and the reaction continues to happen. And since you have an excess of hydrochloric acid, you can see that this is going to actually start to react faster and faster. So right now we're at the beginning, you can see a little tiny bit of bubbling where the magnesium ribbon is, but that bubbling is going to pick up more and more and more as you see that red color shift down towards the bottom. So now we're going to go ahead and speed up the video so this doesn't take so long because it's a long stretch for this reaction to happen here. But we're going to flip back and forth where you can see the bubbling and you can see what's going on at the top as the bubbles push that water and hydrochloric acid as that gas is collecting.
So the reaction has slowed considerably. We're not quite done yet, but now if we take a glimpse of where we are, we can start to see if we're getting to the end. So currently we're between 62 and 64. It looks like we're right around 63 milliliters right now. So we're going to let this react a little more and see if that changes. So it's now about six minutes later and we've definitely changed from 63 right now. It looks like it's very close to 64. So when we look against the backdrop, it looks like it's just not quite to 64. So maybe 63.8 milliliters of gas that we've collected. Keeping in mind that the pressure is not even here because we haven't had the water levels evened out and water temperature about 21.5 degrees.